Miami, Roger Federer will face a hectic few days if he's going to win another Miami Open. He's off to a good start. Federer is THR out of the quarterfinals, having little trouble on the way to a 6-4, 6-2 victory over a 13th seeded Daniil Medvedev, needing only 61 minutes to prevail in a match where he committed a myriad unforced errors. Read more, teachers announced a boycott of classes on Friday the match was supposed to be Tuesday and was pushed back a day because of rain. So now, to win what would be his fourth Miami title, Federer will have to prevail four times in a five-day span. I'm feeling really good, Federer said. Today's match, I can be really happy with C. I hope it's going to give me some confidence for tomorrow. Federer and Medvedev split the first eight games, and then things turned quickly. Federer broke Medvedev for a 5-4 lead in the first set, fought off three break points to close out the set in the next game, and got another break to open the second set. He cruised home from there. Federer leads the head-to-head -head against Anderson 5-1, the loss coming last year in the Wimbledon quarterfinals, Anderson winning 13-11 in the fifth set. Meanwhile, second-seeded Simona Halep also finished her match Wednesday with a flourish. And a return to the world's number one ranking could be her reward. Halep beat 18th-seeded Chang Wang 6-4, 7-5 in the quarterfinals. Halep won the final six games against Chang and would return to no. One in the world if she wins her semi-final match Thursday night against fifth-seeded Karolina Pliskova, a 6-3, 6-4 winner over unseeded Marketa von Rauseva in an All-Czech Republic quarterfinal. Read more, Siraj warns rulers to stop treating masses as a flock of sheep Pliskova fought off two break points in the final game, then prevailed when von Rauseva sent a forehand along on match point. Plishkova is 2-7 head-to-head -head against Halep. They are the two highest seeds left in the women's draw, the other women's semi, set for Thursday afternoon, has 12-seeded Ashley Barty against 21st-seeded Annette Contivate.